Okay, chromosomes. So each individual has a ton of chromosomes. And you have to make sure that you go through this. Now realize, some organisms have more chromosomes than others. Most plants have over 200 chromosomes. So like the example on the PowerPoint here is ferns have over 500 chromosomes. Um, where you're going to see some individuals like chimpanzees have 48, we have 46 chromosomes. Um, frogs are going to have 26 chromosome pairs or 26 chromosomes. A mosquito has 6 chromosomes. Um, a common housefly has 12. It just really depends on the species. And so the more chromosomes they have, the more complex it is to breed them. Now, humans have 23 pairs or 46 individual chromosomes. A gamete, which is a sperm or an egg, will hold 23 chromosomes for a human. We don't have a full set in them. They have a half set. They're called haploid or half set. Now, an individual like you has 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. The 23 pairs, half from your mom, half from your dad, are known as diploid or double. We also see it written as 2N. So let's talk about that for a second. So in your gametes, you're going to have what we call a haploid cell. The haploid or half the genetic information is represented by the letter N. In humans, we have 23N or a haploid gamete, sperm or egg, has 23 individual chromosomes. A diploid cell contains two haploid sets. So we call it 2N and in humans we have 2N or 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes. Half of those diploid chromosomes came from your mom and half your diploid chromosomes came from your dad. And so you as an individual sitting right there in my classroom are diploid. That means you have a full set of chromosomes, 46 chromosomes. Now of those 23 pairs of chromosomes, you have 22 pairs being somatic and one pair being um, germ cells. So your um, sex chromosomes would be considered your germ cells. Now your sex chromosomes are your X and Y. If you have XX, you're a female. If you have XY, you're male. So males, you determine the variation of the chromosomes. We also know these as autosomal chromosomes, which would be the ones for your somatic cells, and your sex chromosomes, which would be your X and Y. Now remember, females have two X's, males have an X and a Y. Now, you are going to work in your groups to finish your assignment that is on classroom, and then you're gonna do something a little different for tomorrow. So you can start thinking about this today. You are going to have two days in class and perform on Friday a song for asexual reproduction. Now I have some example songs. We do this every year. You have to record it on some type of media like Screencastify or you can do it on a PowerPoint if you really want. Um, Justin has done this quite a few times. You can make a video as long as you upload it to YouTube and share the link. You can actually do that. Um, so you can use your phones in class to be able to do this. Now, this is something that is, um, be creative. Don't steal the ones online. I already got, I'm showing you them. You can't use them. You have to come up with your own and your own words for them. But you're going to do it over asexual reproduction. All right, be creative and have a little fun with it.